Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Em and today's video is starting. It's actually the evening and it's a bittersweet evening. I'm out on a walk with the dogs. Check out this sunset. I don't think that it's just, you can't capture that um, in a camera, but it is absolutely beautiful. But we're out here on a walk and it is a bittersweet um, walk because it's actually the last walk that I'm doing in this field with Kingsley. King, come here buddy. So I love this guy. I've had him for four years, over four years now. Um, and one of the hardest, absolute hardest things, in fact, I've seriously considered not breeding um, because of it <laughs> is having to place retired dogs. So Kingsley's young, he's only four and a half and um, he's got a lot of life left in him. He's gonna make somebody an awesome pet. I've got him um, the perfect home. He's gonna have a golden sister um, and he's gonna have a mama that he can do all kinds of stuff with. They've got lots of adventures planned, right? Yeah, we've been talking about it for a while. I know, I know. It's happening, it's happening, King, it's happening. Um, so in the next couple days, we are making our way um, across the country to his new home um, and I'm super stoked that I get to take him and uh, have one more trip with King. So this video is all about Kingsley and <laughs> the awesome time we've had together and his transition into his new home. So. guys we are all loaded up I've got Kingsley buckled in promise is gonna ride shotgun uh, her buckle is up there but we got to go grab some gas and then we are headed to my brother's house he's about three and a half hour drive from here we're gonna spend the night with him and then first thing in the morning before the sun's even up we are headed um, east west west are you ready buddy are you ready sit Kingsley sit Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. When I'll be coming home, then I'll be at your door. When I'll be coming home, I plan to let you know. I carry high Whenever we're apart It takes me through the night When I look deep into your eyes When I look deep into your eyes Coming home, and I am on my way. When I'll be coming home, I wanna see you play the music of your heart. Don't do it. I'm going by your life. Water? 
So why are we driving over 2,500 miles through nine states in just two days? Maybe the bigger question you're wondering is, why am I placing Kingsley in a new home? This is a tough question to answer, and I don't expect everybody to understand, but it all comes down to quality of life. You see, golden retrievers are people dogs, and they really thrive on one-on-one -on -one attention. They do really well having a canine sibling, but they really live for their people. So having multiple dogs means your time is divided between the dogs, and that's where the difficult decision comes in. I know that as much as I would love to keep every dog that comes through my home, I couldn't provide them with the quality of life that each of those dogs deserves. And so here we are, driving all the way across the U.S. because Kingsley's perfect match happens to live in California. I could have hired somebody to transport him, but it just didn't sit right with me. You see, I want to make sure he has the smoothest transition as possible, and if that means that I spend two days driving over 2,500 miles, then so be it. Kingsley is what you would call one of those once-in-a-lifetime dogs. He's absolutely gorgeous, sweet as can be, and has taught me more life lessons than I can count. He's one of those dogs that will never be replaced, and he should never be. My heart will always love him, and the hole in our home where he once was will stay empty forever. So you might ask, why would I go through the heartbreak and place him in a home? It's simple. As my mentor once said, he deserves to be the big cheese. Good morning guys, so it is two, three days later and we are in California and I wanted to show you guys, look at the bugs on this car. This is how many bugs we drove through. That's ridiculous. Now I know this is all sad and gloomy and I don't mean for it to be. Yes, my heart is broken and this is by far one of the hardest parts of raising puppies. But the truth is, think about how much joy he's going to bring his new mom. Think about the lives he's going to be able to touch, the adventures he's going to be able to go on. He's going to be living his best life. So I want to say thank you, King, for all of the memories, for all of the life lessons, for the love, and the time we've shared together. I'll always love you, buddy. You love unconditionally. You have zero judgment to give. I feel God's love in the way that you live. You've helped so many to see, and that's including me. How to build relationships that last. So let it all fade Your wild and hectic way Let peace and joy surround
break the ice for the shy and lead them into the light. The healing found in close relationships. There's power in your pulse and joy in the licks from your tongue. You're helping us to find a better way So let it all fade Let peace and joy surround.